Okay, let's do a quick overview of the preliminary installation of the electronic lead screw by uh, Cloud42. Um, to kind of explain the components that we have here, we have a Texas Instruments um, prototype board with a shield from Cloud42 that um, basically translates all the right information to the stepper motors. Uh, we have the uh, control panel, front panel by Cloud46. Um, currently I'm using a, a 32 volt, but it's going to be a 48 volt going forward. Uh, I'm using these uh, M Drive 23 stepper motors. Um, unfortunately, uh, they're very nice drivers. They're actually, they're motors that have the drivers built into them, so I don't have to deal with external drivers for these. Uh, the downside was that these were all configured at uh, 256 micro steps, meaning that uh, you would have to send 50,000 pulses per rotation, uh, which I couldn't pull. So I had to buy a uh, cable to actually uh, reprogram these drives. And so now I can set whatever um, microstepping I want. And I need that because I'm actually, um, these motors came with a 13 teeth uh, timing pulley and I found a 39, so now I have a one to three gearing here. So um, if I set this to, let's say six micro stepping, then I'll have to basically in the software say that it's um, 18 micro stepping, so three times as much, and it'll basically make up for the difference here. Uh, the encoder here currently just sits with a magnet that'll be installed most likely on this. There's a bolt hole in there where the old gears were. Um, and it's a 800, resolution encoder uh, so 3200 steps and so let's uh, turn it on see what happens so um, if I turn it on here's the cloud 42 ELS 14 and uh, the motor uh, I heard it say pop so that basically it's uh, under tor torsion uh, torque now um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to um, well Actually, let's see what happens if we turn it on. Um, everything's running freely here. Let's put the belt under tension. There we go. And let's turn it on. So it's running now, and it's running at 1400 RPM. And the lead screw is now turning nicely along with it. So now if I turn it on, well actually, because the installation on 1242 the motor is reversed, it now goes into the wrong, oh, look at that, it actually goes into the right direction. Theoretically, if I set it to threading, and I set the thread to 16, which is my lead screw is 16 TPI, then a uh, full revolution would imply a full revolution of the lead screw. We'll have to verify that one. But um, yeah, so this is the setup. So the next steps are, um, permanently mounting both the motor, the stepper motor and the um, encoder, and then build a case uh, for the power and for the controller board uh, to you know, hang it here somewhere, but have it uh, you know, electronically shielded. Uh, so yeah, I, once it's all done, I will post a more um, up-to-date video with the finished product.